Welcome to Portal Part 4. That was a weird way to start this. We Falling down a hole? What happened? Uh, hmm. you fell down a hole and then the game just turned off and then now you're at the bottom of the hole. Yeah, okay, so uh, Gladys is pissed at us and Gladys has also figured out where we are and she's sending turrets at us. There we go. Um, also, uh, we're recording this all in one day sometime in September. But now it's like October something when you guys are watching this. Uh, yes, I know. We have a bunch of spoopy games. Don't give away month, our turnaround. Randomly portal. <laughs> Shut up. That's all I had to say about that. <laughs> this, okay. This guy. This game's pretty spoopy. Sp sp this robot's trying to kill you. <laughs> pretty soupy. <laughs> 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 this, this, this game does taste like chicken noodle. You're right. <laughs> also, we also in between recording, we showed Gareth and TJ quarter life and full life consequences. Oh, that's right. We did. Uh, we, they're showed, pretty good. we showed they're them. Pretty good. See, I like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to know what Portal or Half Life is to enjoy them. I actually didn't like them. Shut up, TJ. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, think I, I, I upset think... Steven. I think like stuff like that, just just mind-numbingly bad writing, is always funny. It it don't matter what the um the franchise is. Like like like, like I, I think you could show Sonic you and Tails gets trolled. The people who don't necessarily know Sonic or Pokemon, but just the incompetence of the writing, we just make it funny. Yeah, it's um I but I think one thing that always works is anti-format, kind of like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Mm. Oh, it's just, it's so insane that you can't help but laugh. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. That's not very nice. <laughs> also, Ellen, Ellen McLean is amazing. The voice of GLaDOS. Oh, nice. She's just, she's like, everything she says and her, per her performance as is just wonderful. So, you know, um, so is she actually reading the dialogue, like, straight, or is she just saying a bunch of random lines, and then in the edit, they'll kind of make it sound, like, disjointed like that? Uh, she's she's reading it out loud disjointedly, and they're also making her sound, like, compressed, so that she sounds like she's coming from a speaker and all that. Oh, nice. Um, kind of like what they did with Gurr on Invader Zim. Nah. They would have... Yeah, they would have the uh, the actor read the line three different ways and put them on top of each other to make them sound robotic. So, uh, this puzzle is robot shoot thing, make him shoot thing through portal to break other thing. Is that the uh, official name? Yeah, that's that's the name of today's part. <laughs> <laughs> it won't fit. It won't fit. That's the doorbell. <laughs> Over here. Okay, no, you nah, idiots, yeah. over here. Uh, do I get it? That's not where the missile hit, but okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Two, two out of ten, bad bad physics placement. Bad physics placement? Should have used the, uh, ha put the Havoc engine, the Go 6. I put the physics in the wrong place. <laughs> I should have used the, the Hedgehog physics. engine, too. That's a lighting engine, you fool! Wait, the Hedgehog engine is a lighting engine? Yeah, Hedgehog engine isn't a physics engine, you damn mook. Oh. TJ's... TJ's... I, he's fucking I thought I thought it's how you went fast. No. Chlamydia is how you go fast. <laughs> Ha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but... Well, nothing but it only took us until part four to run out of things to say. So who we're likes about, pie? We're about to get to the best part soon. We are getting to the best part soon. It is. It's. Fun. It's the part it's where uh, Stefan figures out who directed uh, <laughs> and Cloverfield Lane cor correctly. We've been over this. It's James James Avatar. <laughs> no, J James Avatar. The J stands for James. Homer James Simpson. Homer J J Abrams Simpson. <laughs> Stephen doesn't know what he's doing. Yes, I do. See, I did it. Speaking, you're supposed to you're supposed to kill your friends, right? Yay! Uh, TJ and Stefan. Speaking of of JJ's and nicknames and stuff, how what what, what is your preferred nickname for J Jonah Jameson? JJ or JJJ? 
Because when I grew up, when JJ. I grew up, yes, when I grew up in that, it was just JJ. But I think in the last like decade, they've started calling him JJJ, and I'm like, um, no. Well, that's because that's because um, that's because Dan Slot is a fucking hack. Well, because they brought his father into the picture, so they do, they have to separate. Dan so Slot's a hack. <laughs> so. I haven't kept up, but he, is he still calling himself Snoop Lion? <laughs> <laughs> nope, not anymore. That was like Snoop. What's he calling? Is he just Snoop? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Snoopy Doo. What, what is he now? What is he now? He's Snoop Dogg Snoop. again. <laughs> Snooper oh, so he went back to Snoop Dogg. He's now Snooper Dubert. <laughs> <laughs> Snooper Dubert. <laughs> uh. Hey, Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh! <laughs> I did. These, tur you know, these turrets are great too. For, for, for anyone who watched uh, Banjo Chris Zui, I did. I did actually end up buying that Flintstones peanut butter book. And at some point, we will do something with it. Well, no. See, I when we found out about that, I added it to a wish list, but I didn't realize that I wasn't signed in and I added it to your yeah, wish you list. Added it to and my wish Carrie list, bought and it. Carrie went and she was like, she went to buy a bunch of stuff and she just saw there was a, a Flintstones children book in a wish list. <laughs> and she was like, okay, why not? <laughs> bought it. <laughs> so you're welcome. <laughs> welcome that my wife assumed that children's book was for me. Yep. You're welcome. I mean, it was for you. You just didn't buy it. Yeah, don't please don't please don't give your son that book. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it. It might be a uh, thrilling read. That the book is a uh, NSFB, not safe for Ben. <laughs> oh, it's either I it's either that or not... the DC comic. Never never remove from box. Yeah, and uh, NRFB. Is NRFB. Fine. When you said that. Bicentennial Crystal. <laughs> so what I talk about my favorite Rob Paulson line delivery of all time is Bicentennial Crystal. What was that from? Decker's Lab. Oh yeah. Push her down, you son. <laughs> Push her down, son. <laughs> so so what is what? That just that, out of context. What? <laughs> it's from The Simpsons, so it makes perfect sense. So people playing this for the first time, like, do you guys? Because, you know, obviously, you see Steven has finished his game in about, like, just roughly an hour. Um, so, on, on a first-time run, how long did Portal 1 take you? Uh, uh, maybe three hours, four, maybe. And was was this sold for, like, a full price, like, 60 buck game? No. no. Well, it came with the orange box first. Yes. And then it was, like, I think $20 on Steam when they released it separately. It was $20 on Steam... And I think like no no fifteen dollars because they put it digitally on the three sixty <laughs> store as well. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Like... Uh, if, if this game was full price, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have been very upset. Oh, here's the Black Mesa thing. This is the only hint you get at Black Mesa. There you go. There's like there's a, there's a whole slideshow about it, but I didn't want to bore people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the, this game isn't story. It's more lore. It's like the Five Nights at Freddy's of its time. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, final boss time. Hey, I love this final boss. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it, shouldn't it be just first boss? There's no other bosses before this, is there? But it's also the last, so it's also fine. Mm. Yeah. Good, you don't deserve a heart, you fucking robot. We'll just call it All right, Jesus. Um, this, this, this boss is insainly easy. Um, speak for yourself, Stephen. No, th there, are, there are puzzles in this game that are way more difficult than this boss. I have not once ever died on this boss, but I've died multiple times on puzzles. She dropped her balls. <laughs> Ball. She dropped her balls. Ha cha It's one singular. TJ, do the uh, Seth Rogen loss. <laughs> oh, Cleveland laugh, that works. So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm pretending that I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, we gotta press the button, it opens the thing. But I can't get to the thing in time. Look, I'm, I'm explaining how the gimmick works. 
You're... Now I can press the button and get there in time. Yay. You're explaining the video game correctly? This, yeah, right? this is an FTCR, you're fired. Uh, Fra what does FTCR stand for? Franklin Theodore Cuckold Roosevelt? <laughs> He was yes. he was the he was the inspiration for uh, Eggman, wasn't he? At least uh, on a design. Good news. It was it was Roosevelt, really wasn't it? Oh. I don't know. Sure. I love Some, the description yeah. in the subtitles where it explains voice gets smoother and more deranged. <laughs> <laughs> He's also why we call teddy bears teddy bears. Mm. I think. Yeah. Theodore, for some reason, gets certain to Teddy. Or Ted. Just oh my god. Just Ted just... Wisen? Is he Theodore? No, sure. he's... No, he's Edward. Oh yeah, he's... What the f... Who did that? TJ's did Theodore. That? Yeah. What the fuck is happening? He's also... He's also Simon and Alvin. <laughs> It's the curiosity, it's the curiosity uh, sphere. Okay, so they built Gladys pretty terribly. They gave her um, different types of intelligence and just plugged them all into her, and that's probably why she's so crazy. And we're destroying all those different. <laughs> two plus two is ten. So, In base four. So, I I take I take it that. That uh, countdown is if you don't kill her within that time limit, you do die. Yeah, she's she's unleashing neurotoxins into the air right now, and that's basically how much time we have to breathe. That's not very nice. <laughs> uh, just one more after this, I think. Which one is that? I know. Th th this might. This might be the one that has the ingredients for cake. Yeah, the cake. The cake sphere is the best one. Yeah, this uh, gave her a personality, or they gave her an intelligence that's just about making cake. <laughs> now it yes. talks about our ingredients for cake. One, one of the ingredients. <laughs> one of the ingredient. One of the ingredients is sediment-shaped sediment. -shaped sediment. <laughs> sediment-shaped sediment. <laughs> I, I always thought that's it was cinnamon-shaped cinnamon. Shaped cinnamon. <laughs> oh no, it's someone's siphoning in poo gas into this room. Do I get it? No. Oh, I miss every time. Who programmed me with lungs? <laughs> Dr. Light? <laughs> Fuck you, Dr. Light! <laughs> What would you do that for? Why? I, f I programmed you with the feeling of always like you're drowning. <laughs> oh, God fucking dog. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, it, it got dark, but I also said it very incorrectly. <laughs> I programmed you with the feeling of always like drowning. <laughs> You've been watching too much uh, YouTube poops. It's too many quarter life. There's the angry orb. It's always sad. <laughs> and there we go. We beat the game. No. Kaboom. That's how. That's how dumb you sound. That's great. That robots using that kind of insult. So. You're not a scientist. Yep. You're not a doctor. You're not a scientist. You can't subtweet. <laughs> uh, there it is. That. That's it. So, do we have to escape, or is it just over now? Go home. You know what? I'm wishing I had done this. Uh, we get sucked up, right now, and then we surface outside of Aperture uh, Labs. So we actually make it outside. But I think we're like maybe unconscious or just like does this, paralyzed. Does this or have the cuts? Hurt. Does this have the? This is the updated cutscene, right? I guess. But yeah, we're just. Uh, oh, that's right. They had an original cutscene and then a different one. The, the original cutscene was just like this. But then there was the updated one where she gets dragged back in. And she gets dragged back inside right now. Thank, thanks for and, spoiling um, it 10 seconds before it happened. <laughs> Dude, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? I like how that tree is cut off on the top. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. There's a straight edge on that tree. It's yeah. annoying. Um, yeah, so we're getting dragged back inside so we can do Portal 2. So, so she can be put in cryo sleep for 200 years. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Which means Portal 2 takes about just like 180 years after Half-Life 2. That's so crazy. when does Half-Life 3 take place? Never. <laughs> 180 years after Portal 2. <laughs> so is is this still part of the ending cutscene? Yeah, yeah. We're we're here's the ending cutscene. Was and turns out there was a cake after all. Ah, the companion so was, cube is alive. So was this part of that um the original cutscene or was this also added yeah, in the update? This was the original thing as well. I think yeah, they added the dragon because people were asking what happened to her. Yeah, that's cute. And the best song. Yeah, this song is a good 10 years old and you get to hear it again. It's still great. Yeah, so it's still pretty good. There's slight, slight spoiler, I guess, for Portal 2. Does she get out or she dragged, is she stuck back in the place? Wait, what do you mean? For the beginning or the end of Portal 2? The end 2? of Portal 2. I don't remember the end She escapes. Uh, GLaDOS lets her free be after she helps her take back from Wheatley. Hooray! Yeah, yeah and then the, doesn't she, like, uh, throw the companion cube out with you also? Except the yes. ones who are yeah, dead. Does. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's why... And I think she gives you the... She, I think she gives you the portal gun when you leave, so you have the portal gun in this post-apocalyptic world. What do you do now? But, Stefan, um, since we've already spoiled the plot and we might as well spoil the mechanic of uh, Portal 2, is that in Portal 2, we realize that the portal gun only works on surfaces that are covered in moon dust. Oh, right, right, right. So, what good is the portal gun out in the real world? You have to just go to the moon to use it. <laughs> I mean, they kind of do that in Portal 2. Yeah, in Portal 2, that's how you defeat the final boss. Yay! You, you shoot a portal at the moon, and then you shoot a portal at the wall next to you, and then you, you know, through air pressure, all the air gets sucked out of the room, and you defeat the final boss. Get fucked, TJ. Yeah. <laughs> the people who are still alive. <laughs> I can't wait to edit that to, to make you on... On the right, on the same tempo as the song. <laughs> Can't wait to edit that stuff. You're you're lying. You, you can wait to edit. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm I'm editing part one as we speak. <laughs> oh look, here's so, the other Black Mesa reference. The, that that that's when most people heard about it because no one paid attention to the actual game. <laughs> so uh, thoughts on Portal One? It's a fun game. It's good. I think it's really innovative. It's, it's a tech demo. It's a two hour tech demo for Portal 2. <laughs> yeah, basically. But again, you know, um, I haven't played this one, but I greatly enjoyed what I did play at Portal 2. So I think everyone should go out and play Sonic Mania. <laughs> no, yeah. Sonic Forces. Stefan, get the fuck off my channel. TJ, thoughts on Portal 1? <laughs> People, people always tell me uh, Portal 1 is the best game and I always tell them yes and I made it and it's the best and <laughs> you should go out and buy it because when you buy it I get the money and <laughs> with, with, with the money I can buy <laughs> Portals can be exchanged for goods and services <laughs> <laughs> So how about the disaster artist? Everyone betray me <laughs> See you in four years for Portal 2. <laughs>